Welcome back. A newborn screening test in Utah could be the difference between life and death. And that's why doctors at Intermountain Health are trying to bring awareness to parents about its critical importance. KSL's meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke says a test helped save her own son's life when he was born. Three, two, one, go! Go! Three-year-old Wilson, full of energy and drive. The firstborn of KSL's Kristen Van Dyke and her husband Tom Nelson. <laughs> he's just thriving. He's so resilient and he's happy, healthy, smart. Our hug. <laughs> but it was a much different story when Wilson came into this world on December 2nd, 2019. It was such an ordeal and it was so traumatic. The Van Dykes thought they were going to lose their two day old baby when his little five pound, 10 ounce body suddenly started to shut down. Doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong. And all these doctors and nurses and techs come running in. I have no idea what's going on. Even Tom, who is an emergency medical director at Intermountain Health, was very worried. The uncertainty of those first few days was really difficult. Just seeing your child kind of languish in the hospital and, and nobody knew what was going on. Turns out Wilson had a rare genetic metabolic condition known as MCAD. So MCAD is an acronym for medium chain acetyl-CoA deficiency, and it, it's basically describing that he is deficient of an enzyme that everyone else has. Oh, okay. The diagnosis was only discovered because of this kind of screening, a newborn blood spot test that checks newborns for 42 disorders from just a few drops of blood. There are things that you can't see. <laughs> Dr. Peter Lindgren is a pediatrician at Intermountain Health. He says this simple test, required by state law, can save lives. You screen for things that you can actually intervene with and make a difference in somebody's life. For the Van Dykes, the screening was a difference between life go, Fred, go. and death for their son. It saved Wilson. Regardless of when we found out, this was imperative for us to know. If we didn't have that information, I, I don't think he'd be with us today. Can you keep that with me? And now that they are armed with this medical information, it changes everything for Wilson's future. He has a lifelong condition that with proper diet is completely manageable and he can live a, a long and healthy and happy life. All right, let's go. <laughs> We're so happy for Wilson there. The state of Utah actually conducts two different newborn screening tests, one at birth and one during the second week of birth. For any information about the test, make sure you ask your doctor.